Hello there, this is Dave Allen and today we'll have a look at an application called Microwave and it's an audio editor and it was cheap as chips to buy on the Mac App Store. And this is what you get when you first open the application. And we get a nice little graphic there at the top as well. It's sort of uh, psychedelic even. At this point you can choose your sample rate which is probably going to be 44,100. You've got your channels a 32 bit or 24 or 16 and you can also choose your bit depth in terms of either mono or stereo. Well, I clicked on create there, but it's taking a bit of a time to get started. So now it's just asking me for a name for that, and we'll just call it test, and we'll click on save. Okay, so here we are, and we've got the uh, application up and going there, and the thing to do, first of all, is to press the letter R to start doing some recording. And I'm recording, and it's going in there, and it's got a nice little waveform, and I think I quite like it so far. So to stop that, I have to click on stop recording, which is also, again, R. So let's have a look at this. We can view this 100%. We could view it one to one. We can also view it 50%. I'm just doing a pinch movement. That's quite good. I like having a pinch movement on this here so I can um, zoom in and have a look at it closer if I want to. So I can really get in close to that there, just pinching it and pinching it. And we can get right down to seeing right into the waveform. Brilliant. I like it. Let's uh, select a section. So we'll select that front bit there. We'll put a delay on it. So here's the uh, delay settings. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this here. Let's just click on play and see what happens. And we'll play that, see where we go with that. I don't know what it's recording for. I don't know what it's recording for. I don't know microphone for it to use. If you could help me out by going to the share button and sharing out to one of the places, you could share it out to Facebook, for instance. Just click on a button there and something comes up and you just got to click on the share. You can say something or not. It's up to you. And if you want to share it to more places, just click on that there and you've got a few different choices there. You can even share it out to Pinterest. Don't forget to click on the like button. Thanks a lot. So we've got some delay happening there. So that was quite good. So I'm going to select all now. Command and A. And we'll go for a graphical equaliser. Hold down the control key to draw a curve. OK, so this control key held down. And I've moved that up there. And I didn't get a curve, did I? That's with 31 bands, but we could have with just 10. That's a bit easier to work with, isn't it? So let's try with the control key again and move that up there and that up there. We're moving up the mid range of the sounds there. And we've got a bit of a, I've made my own curve. So let's click on apply and see what happens. Oh, goodness me, look at that. It's gone way out of range there. So let's just play that and hear what that sounds like. I don't know what it's recording for. 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 I don't know so we've got play, which is a space bar, play selection, which is S. So let's press S, see what that does. So to stop that, I have to, so to stop that, and it uh, goes over and again, starting from the beginning when it uh, plays there, that so selection. That. As you can see in this section at the top here, it's counting down the seconds as they pass. So these are the seconds here, and this is the length of the whole thing there, 22 seconds. Convert to mono. And I can convert back to stereo distortion. I can select that and put in a figure instead. So I'm putting 50 in there. With these things on here to actually get them to work, rather than moving my finger up and down on the trackpad, I've got to move my finger to the left or to the right. So I've select that and move my finger to the right. It increases the amount of delay on there. OK, so let's click on apply this time and see what we've got this time. OK, you see there were some changes made to that, and we we'll press play. So far, I don't know what it's recording for. I don't know what it's recording for. It's a microphone for it to use. Well, that's marvellous, isn't it? The command Z to get it back as it was. OK, so once you've done all your editing, what you're going to want to do is you want to export that out. So let's just click on export. And we can save it as a tester. And it's going to go to the music one there. And we've got a choice of file types. We can send it out as uncompressed wave, an AIFF, for CAF. An AAC, a compressed MP3, and this flack is a lossless one as well. So you've got plenty of choice there for sending these things out. So let's choose an AIFF file. I want to click on save.
that we've got in music folder tester.aiff okay so there you go you can see this works quite nicely and it's a good cheap little audio wave editor if you don't want to go for something as good as Amadeus Pro so I hope this has been useful for you if you're interested in doing some audio editing and I think the thing with this as well is that it just does the one track. So I can tell you that I quite like this little application. It's quite useful if you only want to record one track. So there you go, this is Dave Allen looking at an application called Microwave for the Mac. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.